Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zara and today I am going to be doing a review of The Parable of the Sower by Octavia E. Butler. Now I read Kindred last year and I absolutely loved it. It was in my top 10 favourite books of 2022. So I have been really psyched to read another book by the great Octavia E. Butler. So I picked up Parable of the Sower. The Parable of the Sower is a post-apocalyptic speculative fiction book about a young woman called Lauren who can feel the pain of others it is set in a world, it's actually set in the future. I don't know when she wrote this book, but it's actually set in the 2020s, which is slightly jarring because she actually talks about 2023 and 2024 and 2025. So that was a, a little bit jarring. This book is essentially a, a kind of commentary on what happens when climate change and social inequality kind of hit an all-time high. And it's a really fascinating yet scary look at what the world would look like when those things hit that all time high. Now I'm going to jump into my review. What did I like about it? I really liked the themes covered in this book. And I have to say that's probably the thing that I enjoyed the most about this book. There were things that were okay, but I wouldn't say they kind of changed my life. Whereas I think the thematic work was very thought provoking and was very profound. As I mentioned at the start, this book is essentially about what happens when the world is appended due to climate change and due to social inequalities hitting kind of that breaking point and the world is essentially broken. She talks a lot about what happens when humans are kind of reduced to their base instincts and that base instinct being the need to survive and how when we're in those situations, our relationships, the nature of them change. They, they become about fear. They come from a place of fear rather than necessarily from a place of love, which I thought was really interesting and not something that I've ever really thought about in the this kind of context. There's also a lot of discussion around religion and how people use it as a symbol of hope and how it can be a way to kind of cope with the stresses of daily life. But then there's this kind of underlying question I felt about there being a fine line between having a religious community versus having a cult. And I thought that was really interesting. I don't I don't actually know if that's supposed to be a point of the book, but I felt like there were points where I started to get a little bit of a feeling of oh, is this going in a, a different direction? But I'm very curious as to how the whole religious thematic work plays out in the next book, because I feel like that's going to be the central theme. It's not really a central theme at the start of the book. The start of the book really focuses more on the kind of societal upheaval and the way that people try to come together to help each other when that societal upheaval is basically a part of daily life. But then towards the middle of the book, once the kind of inciting incident happens, that really kind of becomes the focal point, especially as we get towards the end of the book. And I really, really love that. The other thing that I really liked was the kind of general tone of this book. This book is written in diary format from the perspective of Lauren. And I really liked that because it felt very personal. It felt very intimate. We were getting it directly from somebody who's experiencing the events. And so I really liked being in her head for that reason. There is this constant sense of dread, this constant sense of a threat, a constant sense of something is about to go down and something is about to go wrong, which definitely kept me on the kind of edge of my seat. Uh, and I think Butler does that really well. I definitely got that sense in Kindred as well. Just that constant sense of shit is about to happen and I don't want to be there when it does. And I love that. I really love that. Now those are where my strengths stop because I really love the start of this book. And then I feel like for me, I don't know, something just didn't work for me. And I, I still don't really know what it is. I don't know whether it's because it just took too long to get going, in my opinion, or whether I wasn't just interested. Maybe I just wasn't interested in the religious themes as much as I thought I was. But I know that's not true because I love that sort of discussion. So I don't, I don't really have an idea of what it was that kind of really caused me to lose interest. But let's move on to the things that I didn't like, uh, just to kind of give you a sense of the, the kind of things that I didn't enjoy. I, while I said that I liked the way that we got Lauren's perspective through her diary entries, I don't actually think it was an effective way to tell the story because it just felt clunky to me. I don't know why. And maybe that was just to represent this young woman's head and her kind of frame of mind. And maybe that was intentional. I'm sure it was. But I don't know, I just didn't get what I felt like I could get from it if it had been following a, a bunch of different characters or it have, if it had been told in third person perspective. 
towards the middle I just didn't like it and I think a big part of it was because I just didn't really connect with the main character Lauren I just didn't I just didn't like her it's not that I disliked her and it's not it's not that I actively disliked her I just didn't like her I just didn't really feel any sense of kinship with this person I didn't really feel like she was somebody that I could relate to she just didn't really f yeah she just didn't really feel like a fully fleshed out person and that was really disappointing because I quite liked her at the start but I was expecting more and I just never got it and so I feel like that was maybe why I just didn't fully connect with the entirety of this book I connected with what it was trying to achieve but I didn't connect with the book as a whole if that makes sense and that was really disappointing because Octavia E. Butler's character work in Kindred is perfection like it is absolute perfection in this book it was just meh it was just meh and to add to that I didn't really latch onto any of the other characters as well I mean I really liked Lauren's father I I, I found their conversations to be the most interesting and his dialogue to be the most interesting but apart from that there wasn't really anybody else that I could really latch onto and really relate to and really kind of get behind I found one thing really funny is how one of the characters is Lauren's boyfriend and we literally learn nothing about him literally he's just like a spare part he's just there to be Lauren's boyfriend we get zero depth into this person considering how important this person is to her we don't learn anything about him we don't get any context around who he is and you know what he's like and what their relationship is like and I just thought that was very odd I don't know I just thought it was odd you know I I feel like a story set in a kind of post-apocalyptic world those types of stories for me the relationships are the most important bit because that's ultimately the thing that any human would latch onto Literally any post-apocalyptic story that I've ever read, War of the Worlds being a really good example. There are moments in that book where there are relationships discussed and we latch onto those relationships because the world is literally falling apart and it adds a sense of depth and layer and emotion that otherwise we just don't get. And that's what we don't get in Kindred. We just don't really get a sense of that togetherness. And I just thought that was very, very jarring for me. The last thing that I will mention that I didn't like was the fact that the book just dragged. I mean, it's not a long book by any means. It's actually quite a short book. But because it takes a while to really kick off, because we don't really get to the inciting incident till about halfway, if I remember correctly. And we just don't need all of that in the first half. I just don't, I just, I just didn't really get the point of the first half. If you're not going to focus on the characters, then fine, focus on the world building, which is what Butler definitely does. She focuses a lot more on the societal upheaval, which I understand why she did that. But at the same time, it was just boring. You know, there's only so much that you can tell me about this small community. At, you know, uh, there's a point where I stop caring because you're just repeating the same things. And that's kind of what happens, you know. So when the exciting incident does happen, I don't really, f like, obviously I feel sad for them, but I just, I don't feel like, you know, my heart is out of my head or anything like that because I just don't really feel any sort of kinship with these people. So I feel like this is a, a pretty negative review. And I, when I finished the book, I gave it a 3.75 stars. And then I actually reflected on it a few days ago and I changed my rating to a 3.25. And I might even just down it to a three because I like the thematic work but I don't think that's enough to carry the book and the tone is not enough to carry the book for me this this type of book has to be about the relationships and the community and the characters that's my favorite post-apocalyptic books are all like that the road is literally that's all that's about it's about the relationship between a father and a son and we want that we want that because we want to see that humanity we want to see that connection between people in a world where that connection is fundamentally lost and we just didn't get that i feel like maybe butler was trying to make more of a statement on the broader thematic work on climate change and social inequality which fair enough but at the same time i would have loved to have seen really how this impacts these people on a, a kind of fundamental level and i just don't feel like we got that so there we have it that is my review I'm really curious what other people think about my opinion on this because I feel like my opinion is a very unpopular opinion but I would be really curious to hear 
what all of you lovely people think about this book. I do plan to pick up the second book, probably not this year. Uh, I haven't got it, so I need to purchase it and I'm not really purchasing many books at the moment. So I'll probably get to, get to it in the coming years. I'm not in any particular rush, to be honest. But I will read other Butler books, though because I do still think she's a phenomenal writer and uh, she's definitely becoming a new favourite author for sure, even though this specific book didn't work for me. So I hope you enjoyed my review. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe everybody, take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.